Okay, how to get crisp ear edges on a schnauzer ear. She's a schnoodle, but it's the same difference. So I start with my five-in-one clipper on a 40 blade setting in the inside of the ear very gently and shave out in the direction that the hair grows. Be very careful of this flap. You do not want to accidentally nick them. And I clean out just the front of the ear. Then I also pull up any stray hair. Gently just trim that out. For those strays, very gentle. Okay, and I go to where the ear meets the head. Now, to start edging the ears, I flip my clipper instead of this way, this way. I pull down, I take my fingers and run it down the ear. Again, still on my 40, with my fingers behind the ear, leather. I am tapping against my fingers on the edge of the ear leather. I'm not tapping the leather itself. I'm just running it across and tapping on my fingers. And that is trimming. that edge nice and crisp for me so you don't have to take shears next to ears a lot of people <clears throat> especially beginning groomers are very afraid to take shears right up against the ear leather and it's can be very dangerous so this is one method you can use to get nice crisp ear lines on any dog. So pull my finger down the ear leather again on that side. Trim any more sticky outies up against my finger. The blade is touching my finger. And then on the top, again against my finger or the blade. Hey, Mama. Thank you. This is Ayo the Schnoodle. Again, be very careful of this little ear flap. You're going to tap against your finger. Pull that hair down. You can roll over the edge of the leather onto your fingers. This is an excellent tip for beginners. You don't want to come in, you don't want to come like this with your clippers because you're going to get the ear leather caught in the blade so that's why you do it in this way i generally do this before the bath and then i'll tidy it again after the bath because it's so hard to get all the dust and dander and dirt that builds up right against a dog's ear leather. So when you have a breed 
or an owner who wants extremely short ears, you can do this before the bath. And that way you get those ear edges nice and clean. Now I'm going to switch to my nine, which is the longest setting on my five-in-one blade. And at the bulb of the ear, here, I'm going to shave with the growth of the coat. Not, you're not going to go against, you'll end up taking it bald two lengths shorter. With the growth of the coat, I'm shaving off the excess hair, hair on top of the ear. When I groom her, I'll blend this with thinning shears. I put my finger under, I pop it up, let the ear bulb go with the direction of the coat growth. Nice and gentle. of the ear. Now I'm going to switch again to my 40. I'm going to just run my fingers down the edges of her ears and I'm going to double check. From the outside, my lines, doing that same tapping motion against my fingers. Almost done. To make sure we've got those nice, clean, crisp lines. So again, no need for shears, just use your five-in-one trimmer. And if you ever do use shears, then you should make sure they always point up. They always point up. You don't want to go in. You want to hold that ear leather tight do any trimming you may need to do. But I would rather use my clipper because it's quicker and safer. Just in case they move that head, you never know. So there you go. Nice, clean, crisp lines. And again, after the bath, I will clean them up. just to make sure I got everything. Thanks for watching. Good girl. And here she is, all cleaned up. Look at those nice crisp ears. She's all done. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section. I'm happy to answer. And make sure that you shop my Amazon storefront. The link is in the description. Remember to subscribe and turn on notifications for more.